Hold on to your seats, Canadian seniors. What if I told you that a game-changing financial breakthrough is about to transform the lives of millions of hardworking retirees across our beautiful nation? Waking up this Friday with an extra $1,600 in your pocket, a revolutionary pension increase that's about to rewrite the retirement rulebook. This isn't just another government announcement. This is a lifeline. A beacon of hope for every Canadian who has spent decades building this country's foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, we're diving deep into a financial revolution that's set to reshape retirement landscapes across Canada. The announcement by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau regarding a $1,600 pension increase isn't just a number. It's a transformative moment for millions of seniors who have dedicated their lives to building our nation. This isn't merely an increase, it's a recognition of the immense contributions made by our most valuable generation. Let's break down the critical context behind this monumental decision. For years, Canadian seniors have faced unprecedented economic challenges, rising living costs, healthcare expenses, and an increasingly complex financial environment. Inflation has eaten away at fixed incomes, making every dollar count more than ever before. The traditional pension structures have struggled to keep pace with the economic realities of modern life, leaving many seniors in precarious financial situations. Prime Minister Trudeau's administration has recognized this systemic challenge and responded with a bold, unprecedented intervention. The $1,600 increase represents more than just additional money. It's a comprehensive strategy to provide meaningful financial relief and dignity to our senior population. This isn't a temporary Band-Aid solution, but a substantive long-term commitment to supporting those who have contributed immeasurably to Canadian society. The mechanics of this increase are meticulously designed to provide maximum impact. Starting this Friday, eligible Canadian seniors will see a direct, substantial boost to their monthly pension payments. The $1,600 annual increase translates to approximately $133 additional dollars each month, a game-changing amount that can cover essential expenses, provide breathing room in tight budgets, and restore a sense of financial security that many seniors have been desperately seeking. Who exactly qualifies for this groundbreaking increase? The program targets Canadian seniors aged 65 and older, with a particular focus on those with modest to low-income backgrounds. While the specific eligibility criteria are comprehensive, the government has intentionally designed the program to be inclusive, ensuring that a vast majority of seniors can benefit from this financial intervention. Breaking down the eligibility requirements, Seniors must be Canadian citizens or permanent residents 65 years of age or older Currently receiving old age security and slash or guaranteed income supplement, SIS Meeting specific income thresholds that will be clearly outlined by Service Canada The application process has been intentionally streamlined to minimize bureaucratic hurdles for most qualifying seniors, the increase will be automatically applied to their existing pension payments. No additional paperwork, no complex forms, no exhausting administrative processes, just a direct, hassle-free enhancement to their monthly income. But this isn't just about numbers, it's about restoring hope and dignity. Each dollar of this $1,600 increase represents a tangible acknowledgement of the incredible contributions made by our senior citizens. These are the individuals who built our infrastructure, fought for our freedoms, educated our children, and laid the groundwork for the prosperous nation we enjoy today. Consider the real-world impact that extra $133 monthly could mean. Covering essential medication costs. Affording better nutrition. Managing unexpected household repairs. Enjoying occasional social activities. Reducing financial stress and improving overall quality of life. The economic ripple effects are equally significant. 
By putting more money directly into the hands of seniors, the government is stimulating local economies. These funds will be spent in local businesses, supporting community infrastructure, and creating a positive economic cycle that benefits entire regions. Critics might argue about the financial sustainability of such a program, but the government has conducted extensive economic modeling. The increase is part of a broader, carefully calculated strategy to support an aging population while maintaining fiscal responsibility. It represents an investment in human capital, recognizing that supporting our seniors is not an expense, but a critical social investment. The timing of this announcement is particularly poignant, coming in the wake of global economic uncertainties and the lingering financial impacts of the pandemic. This pension increase sends a powerful message of resilience and commitment. It demonstrates that Canada remains a nation that takes care of its most vulnerable and honors its social contract with its citizens. For seniors watching this, immediate action is crucial. While the process is largely automatic, it's recommended to verify your current pension information. Ensure your address and contact details are updated with Service Canada. Consult with local senior support organizations for personalized guidance. This isn't just a policy change, it's a societal transformation. By recognizing the financial challenges faced by seniors and taking decisive action, the Canadian government is setting a global standard for senior care and social support. To every senior who has wondered about their financial future, who has struggled to make ends meet, who has felt overlooked by economic systems, this announcement is for you. This is your moment of recognition, your time of financial empowerment. The $1,600 increase is more than a number. It's hope, it's respect. It's a promise that in Canada, we don't just talk about supporting our seniors, we take concrete, meaningful action. Let's dive deeper into the economic ecosystem surrounding this groundbreaking pension increase. The $1,600 annual boost isn't emerging in a vacuum. It's the result of meticulous economic planning, comprehensive demographic studies, and a profound understanding of Canada's evolving social landscape. To truly appreciate the significance of this increase, we must explore the intricate financial challenges facing Canadian seniors. Over the past decade, inflation has been a relentless adversary, continuously eroding purchasing power. While theoretical economic models might suggest stability, the lived experiences of seniors tell a dramatically different story. Everyday expenses, from groceries to healthcare, from utility bills to housing maintenance, have skyrocketed, creating an increasingly challenging financial environment. Consider the complex tapestry of retirement planning. Traditional pension structures were designed for a different economic era, when predictable career trajectories and stable living costs were the norm. Today's seniors navigate a dramatically transformed landscape. Many have experienced multiple career shifts, weathered economic recessions, adapted to technological revolutions, and now face unprecedented financial uncertainties. The $1,600 increase represents more than a monetary adjustment, it's a strategic intervention addressing systemic economic inequities. By targeting seniors with modest incomes, the government is implementing a targeted approach that recognizes the diverse financial realities experienced by different demographic groups. Let's break down the potential impact across various senior demographic segments. Urban seniors. In metropolitan centers like Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal, where living costs are exponentially higher, this increase provides critical financial breathing room. The additional $133 monthly could mean the difference between basic survival and modest comfort, allowing seniors to maintain a semblance of dignity and independence. Rural Community Seniors 
For seniors in smaller towns and rural communities, the increase represents an opportunity for enhanced quality of life. It could support home maintenance, cover transportation costs, or provide resources for occasional recreational activities that combat social isolation. First Nations and Indigenous Seniors Recognizing the historical economic challenges faced by Indigenous communities, this increase offers a meaningful step towards financial reconciliation. It acknowledges the unique struggles and contributions of elders who have preserved cultural heritage while navigating complex socioeconomic landscapes. Immigrant Seniors For many newcomers who have built lives in Canada, this pension boost provides critical support. It recognizes their contributions to Canadian society and offers a safety net during retirement years that might otherwise be financially precarious. The psychological impact of this increase cannot be overstated. Financial stress is not merely an economic challenge, it's a profound mental health issue. Constant worry about making ends meet can lead to depression, anxiety, and a diminished sense of self-worth. By providing this increase, the government is fundamentally addressing not just economic needs, but emotional and psychological well-being. Let's explore some compelling real-world scenarios that illustrate the transformative potential of this $1,600 increase. Scenario 1. Margaret, a 72-year-old retired teacher from Halifax. Margaret lives alone, managing on a fixed income. Her modest pension has struggled to cover rising healthcare costs and home maintenance. The additional $133 monthly means she can now afford periodic home repairs, reducing the risk of more expensive interventions. It means less stress, more security, and the ability to maintain her independence. Scenario 2. Robert, a 68-year-old former factory worker in Windsor, Ontario. After decades of physical labor, Robert manages chronic health conditions. The pension increase allows him to purchase supplementary medical supplies not covered by standard health care, improving his quality of life and potentially reducing long-term medical expenses. Scenario 3. Elena, a 75-year-old immigrant from Ukraine, settled in Calgary. Elena's retirement savings were significantly impacted by her immigration journey. This increase provides her with additional resources to support her integration, potentially allowing her to take language classes, participate in community activities, and maintain social connections. The broader economic implications are equally fascinating. By putting money directly into the hands of seniors, the government is essentially creating a multiplier effect. These funds won't be saved or invested in distant financial instruments, they'll be immediately circulated within local economies. Small businesses, local service providers, healthcare facilities and community centers will directly benefit from this increased spending power. Moreover, this approach demonstrates a sophisticated understanding of economic stimulation, Unlike corporate tax breaks or complex financial instruments, direct pension increases create immediate, tangible economic activity. Every dollar spent is a dollar that supports local businesses, generates economic momentum, and contributes to community resilience. But the increase isn't just about immediate financial relief. It's part of a broader vision for senior care and social support. It signals a fundamental shift in how we conceptualize retirement, moving from a model of mere survival to one of active, dignified participation in society. The timing of this announcement is strategically brilliant. In a post-pandemic world, where economic uncertainties have created widespread anxiety, this pension increase offers a beacon of hope. It tells Canadian seniors, we see you, we value you. We will support you. For policy experts and economists, this represents a nuanced approach to social security. It's not a blanket solution, but a targeted intervention that recognizes the diverse economic realities of senior populations. The careful calibration of the $1,600 increase demonstrates sophisticated economic modeling and a deep commitment to social equity. 
As we look towards the future, this pension increase should be viewed as more than an isolated policy. It's a template for progressive social support. It challenges us to reimagine retirement, to see seniors not as economic burdens but as vital, valuable members of our social ecosystem. Stay informed, stay prepared, and get ready for a financial boost that could change everything. The future is not just something that happens to you, it's something you actively shape, and this pension increase is your first step towards a more secure, dignified retirement. To every Canadian senior watching, your best days are not behind you, they're just beginning. This Friday marks the start of a new chapter, a testament to your incredible journey, and a celebration of the respect and support you've always deserved, the $1 